Okay, so we are still taking the solutions to the mathematics objective of the National Common Entrance that was conducted this year, 2023. So we've been able to cover up 40 questions. So we begin with uh, question 41 to 50. So let's begin. 41 says, an equilateral uh, cloth hanger with length 22.5 cm, calculate its perimeter. The hanger must be in the, uh, must have the shape of what? Of a triangle, right? So if it is an, this is the hanger. So if it is an equilateral, it means that all sides here must be equal in the hanger. So we were told that one side is 22.5 cm, right? To get the perimeter, we just multiply one dimension by three because this remaining size must be 22.5. So we say 22.5 multiplied by three. When we multiply this, this gives us 67.5 uh, centimeter as the perimeter, which is option C. Do we get that? 42. It says, in a rectangular school hall with capacity of 600, the length is 32 cm and the width is 28 cm. Find this area. So, the rectangular uh, school hall must have the form of a rectangle. So, we're told that the length is 32, while the breadth is what? Uh, 28. That is the width. Okay? So the area must be length times breadth, which gives us 32 multiplied by 28. When we multiply this, what do we have? 1, 25, 4, 6, 6, 9. This gives us 896 centimeter squared as the area of the rectangular hole, which is B. 43, it says, a building block has its length, 9 cm, 6 cm width, and 8 cm height. Find the volume. That building block must be in the form of a cuboid. So volume will be length times breadth times height. We're told that the length is 9. That will be 9 times the breadth is uh, 6. 9 times 6 times the height is 8 times 8. 9, 9 times 6 is 54. 54 multiplied by 8 gives us what? 400 and what? 432 centimeter cube as the volume of uh, the building block, which is C. So we proceed with 44. 44 says, it says, a class marker board has its length to be 60 centimeter and 10 centimeter. Find this perimeter. Class marker board must be in form of a, a rectangle, right? So this then implies that the area will be, uh, okay, we are asked to find the perimeter. So the perimeter using formula will be two bracket length plus breadth. This becomes two brackets. We're told that the length is 16. The breadth is what? It's 10. So adding up these two, we get 26. That would then be 2 bracket 26, and you add what is in the bracket. Now, 26 times 2 will give us 52 centimeter as the perimeter of the class marker board, which is option A. So we proceed with 45. Mr. Tolu. Mr. Tolu visited a supermarket with his son on his birthday. He bought an ice cream cone, an ice cream cone. This is the way it will look like. Then he says now with a radius of what? With a radius of uh, 6 cm and a height of what? A height of 7 cm. The question says we should find the volume. Volume for, uh, formula for finding the volume of a cone will be pi r squared h over 3. So we're asked to take pi as 22 over 7. So this becomes 22 
over 7 times radius squared will be 6 times 6 times height 7 over 3. This becomes, I can write this as 22 times 6 times 6 times 7 over 7 times 3. 7 cancels out. 3 here, 1, 3 here, 2. This becomes 22 times 3 is 44. 44 multiplied by 6 will give us. Two hundred and sixty-four centimeter cube as the volume, and we can see that that is option uh, option D. Did we get that? Okay, forty-six. Forty-six says, what is the probability of picking letter E randomly from the word E L E? E L E U T H E R A E L E U T H E R A. What's the probability of picking the letter E? Now, probability is simply favorable outcome. The formula all over total number of outcome now what's my favorable outcome how many favorable outcome is what is stated in the question so it says probability of picking the letter e how many e's are in the letter let's count one two three that's three over total number of outcome is the total letters here let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine so if I reduce this, 3 here 1, 3 here 3, the probability of picking the letter E randomly from this letter will be 1 over 3. And we can see that that is option, option B. 47, it says, Mary scored 80 marks in English, mm -hmm. 80 marks in English, then 60 marks in science, 85 marks, marks in maths, 75 in PBS, 65 in MV. What is her average mark? Average will be the sum of all her marks divided by the total marks presented. So that would then be 80. Let's sum 80 plus 80 in English plus 60 in science plus 85 in maths plus 75 in PBS plus 65 in MV. Right? Divided by how many? Uh, marks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are dividing by 5. Are we together? Okay, if we add up this, this is 80 plus 60 is 140, right? 140 plus 85 will give us uh, 225. Are we together? Okay, 225 plus uh, 75, this will give us um, 300. Right, 300. Yeah, yes, this will give us 300. Now, 300 plus 65 will give us 365 divided by 5. So let's divide this. 5 in 36 will be 7, remainder of 1 in 15 will be 3. So we can see clearly that the average of her marks is A, 73, which is option A. Now let's proceed with 48. 48 says, if we read out, it says, uh, in a math test conducted by primary 5 pupils, the, the scores are as follows, 8, 6, 6, 7, 9, 4, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 6, 8. Find the range of the scores. So let me write out the scores, 8, 6, 6, 7, 9. Four, two, three, six, seven, eight, six, eight. What would the range be? Range is simply the difference between the higher value and the lower value. What's the highest value here? The highest value here must be nine minus the lower value here must be two. If we subtract this, the range becomes seven. And we can see that that is option, what? A. 49. 
Now, 49, we have a table. And can we see that? Okay. We can see that the table says, the question says, the table below shows the numbers of vehicles that were impounded in a state within a week. We can see that vehicles, we have car, lorry, bus, taxi, others. And the numbers are 5, 7, 2, 10, and 3, right? Now, we are asked to uh, find uh, the median of the vehicles that were impounded from the table. What we can do is we are going to uh, we are going to sum up the total numbers first. We want to get the median of this frequency table. So we are summing up the total numbers first. So that will be 5 plus 7 plus 2 plus 10 plus 3. 5 plus 7 is 12 plus 2. 14. 14 plus 10 will be 24. 24 plus 3 will be 27. Because we have an odd, let us add 1. Then we have 28. Now let's divide this by 2. If we divide this by 2, we get 14. Right? So it means that we are going to now count from the table. We are going to count from the table. Where does 14 falls? So remember that this is what we can see. This is the table we can see. Right? We can see this table like this. We have car, lorry, bus, taxi, and others. Car, lorry, bus, taxi, then others. Right? Vehicles. Then number. Right now we have five, seven, two, ten, and three. Where does fourteen fall? Five plus seven is twelve. Now twelve plus these two will give us fourteen, right? Okay. So which means that this is where fourteen falls. So it implies that this our median will fall under this bus, right? So all the options here are 2, 3, 5, and 7. So we will go with the median will be the boss, which is 2. So our answer is 2, which is A, the mid as the median. 50, which is the last question. It says, in a class of 30 pupils, 8 pupils were picked randomly, and the ages were 13 years, 12 years, 9 years, 10 years, uh, 10 years, 11 years, 14 years, and 10 years. What is the mode of the ages? Mode is the number that appears the most. So which age there appears the most? As we can see, that the age that appears the most there is what? Is 10. Oh, yes, 10 years appears the most. And that is option A. So thanks so much for viewing. I'll see you on the next video.